In Commitment 2022 tonight, every election season, we try to make sure you get to know each candidate's positions on the most pressing issues. Tonight, hearing from the candidates in the U.S. Senate race, and we asked them this. Should the U.S. spend any more money for humanitarian aid to Ukraine or send the country more weapons and ammunition? You know, what we're seeing right now is the Ukrainian people sacrificing their lives for what we have freedom and democracy. They are standing up for their country, for their democracy, and they're showing the rest of the world that democracy is worth fighting for. So that's why it's been so important that we've had bipartisan support for aid, both financial aid and weapons to Ukraine so that they can repel Putin, who is a war criminal. And we, I was proud to be part of a bipartisan resolution to call him out as a war criminal. Um, We've just passed another bipartisan package to support Ukraine. We're going to have to see facts on the ground, whether additional support is necessary. Um, but at the end of the day, we know that autocrats around the world are watching. Iran, North Korea, China, all watching. We have to stand up for democracy. We're the live free or die state. I do not think we should be sending them any more weapons and ammunition. First off, our military is in dire need of weapons and ammunition and systems that they're sending overseas. Our military just got downgraded from marginally capable of, of doing its mission, fighting our nation's wars and winning them, to weak across the board. No, that's unsatisfactory. We need to start investing in America, start investing in our military. Uh, these are bad leadership uh, decisions. Uh, we don't need to spend any money. America does do a great job, and through the State Department and through 501c3s and other organizations, we should support people in need. Um, but we, we can't do it in places like Afghanistan, where it's going to go straight to the bad guys. And that's what it did while I was there, and that's what it's going to do uh, now. And so Afghanistan, no-go, but there's a lot we can do to work with the people of Ukraine. 